soft glam makeup looks like this, I feel like are all of our faves, right? Like you cannot go wrong with a soft glam look. And I kind of wanted to do my version of that. And of course there had to be a little bit of pink in there somewhere. <laughs> I couldn't resist guys, I'm obsessed. This to me is one of the most perfect ways to incorporate a bit of color. This is a makeup look that I know all of you will feel so comfortable in wearing. So pretty, so soft glam. I went for that sort of like Insta style soft glam. You know that you see makeup artists do on like people like Molly May or let me tell you, this is so easy to do. This isn't complicated, I promise. So wearable, you guys are gonna love this so let's go okay so my eyes are prepped with concealer as a base i've really really buffed that out though all the way out here up here making sure i've buffed out that inner corner too i just want it obviously to be super buffed out super soft no crazy harsh lines or edges or anything because that's not the vibe today i'm gonna take just a touch of pressed powder though and just use that to set this inner corner here because honestly when that creases that shit pisses me off the focus of the eyeshadow is going to be on the outer corner anyway. I just want this area here to be super, super smooth. It's just what I like to do anyway. Okay, cool. Right, now I'm going to introduce to you, honestly, what I think, in my humble opinion, <laughs> is the best, like, soft glam eyeshadow palette ever. To be fair, I think I'd go as far as saying that this is just, like, one of my favorite neutral eyeshadow palettes ever. And I've been doing this for a long time. Neutral eyeshadow palettes, how many times have we seen them, right? But this one, just something about it. Honestly, Jordana smashed this. This is the uh, New Divinity palette from Jordana Tisha. The colors in here are just so beautiful. Oh, God, that they just get me hard. <laughs> the most perfect mix of neutral eyeshadows, like warm tone, cool tone, neutral, dark to light as well. It's just the most dreamiest, like all matte eyeshadow palette ever. I've only had this for a couple weeks and I've just been loving it. Like for looks like this, beautiful. The first shade I'm going to dip into is this sort of medium brown shade here. I think it's pronounced Gaia. I mean, look how pigmented they are, guys. But I'm going to take this on like a really sort of small, fluffy brush. I'm going to give that a bit of a tap. <laughs> onto the outer corner, almost in like a half wing shape. Can you guys see that? Just stamping that on. When I reach the outer corner, I'm going to start to sort of press this up and bring it into the inner corner. I'm kind of creating like a C shape. Can you see that? I've also gone above the uh, the crease too. Just obviously when I look forward, you can still see all the color. And then once that's pressed down, I'm just gonna slightly start to blend that out. I don't wanna go too far. I don't wanna go too dark. I just want enough there to give me shape and like a little bit of depth. <laughs> now that shape's there, I can really go in and just sort of go kind of back and forth. For this part, I feel like the brush is super key though to have something really, really small. Cause obviously if you go in with something super fluffy and big, it's just gonna cover the whole lid. I want that color placement right there. Also, if you've noticed, I'm not taking it out or anything like that and keeping everything kind of nice and close to the eye and bringing it round. You see that? I mean, you guys are fucking sick of makeup. You don't need me to tell you. <laughs> Next color, I'm actually gonna stick to the same brush. I'm just gonna kind of get rid of any excess. Two shades I'm mixing together now. I'm taking Pisces, me. <laughs> and this shade here, this is Titania, Titan, Titan. Titties? Titties. These two mixed are so beautiful. And again, I'm just tapping off because these eyeshadows are pigmented. And I'm just gonna use that to scratch the edge of that color we've already placed down. These eyeshadows melt together really well anyways, but obviously while I'm using the same brush, it should hopefully help. And then we wanna take a big fluffy brush and this shade, right? This shade is gonna look like nothing, but I promise you, it just makes everything. In the pan, you'll be like, mm. this shade here called Luna. It just looks like a skin tone shade, but I promise you, watch this. As I kind of pop this on the eye, you're gonna notice everything just looks so much more like seamless. And it's one of those sort of shades you can be a bit more carefree with. It's nothing but everything at the same time. Like it's just buffing everything up to the um, the brow for us. So it's just super soft glam-esque, which funnily enough is what we're after. All I like to do after this is just look to see if there's anything I wanna deepen up. Maybe dip back into the middle shades that we used ever so slightly. Cause sometimes obviously when you buff everything out, it will diffuse the product. Just to bring it back to life a little bit. Maybe I'll dip back into um, the dark brown we used in the beginning. Kind of just a simple case of going back and forth between your brushes until you're happy with the blend. Okay, cool. I think I'm pretty happy with that now. I really want to brighten up that inner corner now and make that pop. So uh, these light shades are so perfect to do this. To do that, I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Aurora, which is a really nice sort of like pinky peach tone. They're the tones I want to stick to for this look. And I'm going to mix a little bit of Empress in, which is the white, just to brighten that up even more. Right in the inner corner, you can see that already, just brightening up. We're going to press and I'm going to use the shape of the brush because it's a bit more rounded to follow underneath. You know the shape, like the C shape we created right underneath here. Go back in. 
layer that up back in with the small brush just to go on top of here again to create that definition but you can see how much more like brighter that inner corner is now perfect now for the fun part a little bit of pink at the moment adding pink to my makeup look is just like my favorite thing in the world whether it's the inner corner on the lids for this particular soft glam look a little pop on the lid i think looks so cute it's the perfect way to incorporate color but it still looks soft glam i mean it's cute just like this like this is very like insta soft glam but we're gonna level it up okay we're gonna level it up to me this is the perfect pink to use for this look which is the p louise single blush here this is in keep it candy how cute is that just like a baby pink I'm gonna really get that on here. Sometimes what I like to do is take the base in Extra Spicy by P. Louise, and I've used that for the inner corner. Like so many of you were asking me what pink inner corner I had. It was the Extra Spicy base. Then I laid this on top to set it. Um, but because I've already set the lid, I'm gonna stick to powders, just so we don't fuck anything up because that's the last thing we want. Place that down right here. I'm kind of laying it on top of the brown. Diagonal motion following that brown shape, and I will just sort of fill in the gap back over really layer up that pink obviously the more you add the more vibrant it's going to be sometimes i'll even chuck in a bit of this magenta shade here majority of the time though i stick to this soft baby pink because i just feel like it's flattering for a look like this because i don't want it to be too crazy i just want a little of it <laughs> Perfect. And then again, back in with the brush that I use for the brown, just to make sure that those two are like blended together. How cute is that little bit of pink? I love. Right. Cool. Guys, to be honest, that's pretty much it. That's what it's all about. Just like a few simple colors. Chuck them together on the lid. You've got soft glam. Straight in now with mascara and lashes. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Curl Bounce Mascara. To be honest, I kind of use any. I'm going to be putting an outer corner lash on. So honestly, I don't give a fuck. Whatever works. <laughs> I'm only hitting the outer lashes with mascara though, not the inner. Just comb through like just, I almost do like the outer two thirds, almost like the center and the outer part, like not the inner corner. This mascara by the way is actually kind of cool. It's actually kind of good, what the hell? Okay, <laughs> a little bit more. I make sure they're coated obviously so that when I put on the lash, they blend in super easy. For lashes, oh, these are so stinking cute. These are by Unicorn Cosmetics. They're in the style, I was about to say shade. They're in the style Robot Light. They look like this. These aren't an outer corner lash, but we are gonna make them an outer corner lash. Another lash that I do love with this look, especially if you like something fuller, more voluptuous, the Claudia Killsby lashes in CK2. Literally make them an outer corner lash again. So good. They are so, so, so like thick and fluffy. So if you want something more, they're a great option. Depends on the day, but I feel like these lashes in particular are like the perfect perfect soft glam lash. Little trick, if you don't have like scissors on you, like I don't right now, hold the lash by where you want to cut it. So you can see I've got my section here that I want to tear off. Grab your tweezers that apparently are covered in fluff. Grab where you want to like rip them. Give them a wiggle first just to kind of get them in there and then pull away. See? And now I've like chopped them off. Now I have four little wisps and that's going to make the cutest little outer corner lash. By the way, I'm not taking any responsibility if you fuck up your lash. Like, Stay safe, kids. <laughs> lash glue is my Box Beautiful Latex Free Lash Glue. Thin layer of that. We're gonna let it go tacky and then we're gonna apply. I'm telling you now, don't sleep on Robot Light from Unicorn Cosmetics. I love a half lash, you guys know this about me. Designer lashes hold some of my favorite. Their half lash edit is just chef's kiss. Yeah, I like a lot of brands, but honestly, if you if there's a specific lash that you like, don't be afraid to kind of chop them and customize them and do what you feel like you need to do to suit your makeup style. It sounds crazy, but I probably wouldn't wear these lashes as a full lash, but as a half lash like this, <laughs> stick it up every crevice. Anything else we want to put on later, we can. But for now, um, I want to be able to move on to skin. Skin that looks perfected and just, ugh, the best, the best. To prep the skin, I'm going to start by taking my Milk Hydro Grip setting spray just to give my skin like a little bit of like tack. I'm just going to cover the eyes, douse the skin. I'm going to let that sort of dry a little bit. For my T-zone, I'm actually going to be using Benefit Professional. This is the light primer though. This is the newer version of the original. It's a completely different texture, guys. It looks silicone on the finger like that, but I promise you, once you start to sort of melt it into the skin, you can actually see it's almost like a liquid. It sort of just blurs into the skin. It's almost like, you know, the Elf Putty Primer. As you blend it into the skin, it sort of melts. It goes from like a thicker formula to something thinner. That's exactly what this product does. Straight into the T-zone. I'm also going to do the chin a little bit on the nose and then a little bit on the forehead too anywhere where there's pores or like texture that i want to smooth out 
and pop that. As always, I like to set that in place with a press powder. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless because this is quite a nice like smoothing, blurring powder. Nice fluffy brush so we can add like a nice light layer. And I basically just set that primer in place. Not only that, but I feel like this also helps to make my makeup last a little bit longer too because I have oily skin. Every time I say I have oily skin, I'm like, well, you guys know. Because I don't shut up. <laughs> Perfect. Before I put on my foundation, I am going to take a little bit of my NARS Soft Matte Creamy Concealer. Is that what this is called? Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I think I mixed the two NARS concealers then together in my head, but this is in the shade Custard. I do have a few breakouts at the moment, especially on my jawline. I was looking up because I keep breaking out all down here and it kind of all adds up, right? It's hormones. I've just come off my period. It makes sense, but it's just fucking annoying. Like, go away. Like, go away. And I get the ones that are, like, quite big and sore. I mean, I'm obviously very blessed. I'm not complaining. My skin is great, like, in the grand scheme of things. But around my period, I always, always break out with, like, these lumps along my jawline. But I think a little bit of NARS Soft Matte can't cover. Letting that chill, I'm going to go straight in with my foundation. This is the... I haven't used this before on camera, I don't think. This is the NYX Born to Glow. When I just want something a little bit more, like, radiant, but it still has its coverage. You'll see it on the skin in a sec. This is beautiful. This is a really, really nice drugstore foundation. Doing the same routine that I've been enjoying at the moment, taking like a brush to begin with and just tap that in. This is gonna look really dark by the way, but I have not a lot of tan on my face and I'm matching it up to my neck. This is a little bit of a darker shade, but you guys know how makeup works. It all will balance out in the end. Trust that process. <laughs> guys, look at that. How beautiful is that foundation? I feel like with this type of look as well, because it's a little bit glowier, sits really lovely on the skin. It's really like... I don't want to say natural, but it's really skin-like. I don't want to say natural because it does have a lot of coverage and it is a beautiful foundation. It's gorgeous. It's one of those foundations that I feel like work great and like quite a few skin types. Very Instagram-esque, you know? <laughs> right, bear with me while I get this blended. Coco Cosmetics by Chloe at Marshmallow Sponge, of course. I'm going to go back in with a quick layer of my setting spray, just a small amount, and then I'll use the sponge to just press that into the skin and obviously pick up any excess product, just really, really smooth everything out. Where well, this is huge as well, I can do this in like four seconds. It's like that extra step to just really, really smooth the foundation onto the skin. Concealer today, again, we're using something a little bit different. It's been a long time since I've used this. If you like Tarte Shape Tape, H&B Cosmetics Concealer, that type of thing, I promise you, you will love this one as well. It's the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. I'm starting with the shade Amber. You guys know I like to start with something that's like a couple shades lighter than my like skin tone, not too bright. Up here too, you guys know the usual placement. Then of course a lighter shade, this is Bisque. Baby Marshmallow, of course, to blend everything in. Honestly, this is such a full coverage concealer. Paired with this foundation as well, like it's just, ugh, the, it's a match made in heaven. You guys know when it comes to concealer, I like to let the concealer do the work, hence why I don't put foundation underneath my eyes. I let the concealer do it. It's what it's there to do, so put it to work, babes, all right? <laughs> Pounce that in, always down the sides of the nose, all the way back here, like look at that coverage. The color combo as well, I love. If you use fake tan, by the way, this is such a good one. Can you see how seamless it's been? And I haven't even like gone in yet with like my marshmallow sponge to like tap over the edges. It just blends. Make sure that temple is blended did as well. I'm, I'm not keeping any, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm not keeping any lines here. You know, normally I kind of keep like a straight line here. I'm not doing that this time, obviously, because I don't need to because of the eyeshadow. I'm just really, really gently tapping that around. Cream bronzer now. I'm actually going to use something different. I know. Every time I say I'm using something other than my Primark, you guys are at home like, <laughs> I am feeling all right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just doing my job. Guys, this is the brand new Doll Beauty Gimme Sun Cream Bronzer. This is in medium deep. I used this on TikTok Live the other day, which by the way, if you don't follow me on TikTok Live, totally follow me over there if you want to see more like BTS, like makeup looks. I always go on live, always doing makeup looks with you guys, always trying new products. So if I'm not here, I'm typically over there. I'm also starting TikTok shop this month. So you guys are going to be able to save some pennies. Anyway, the cream bronzer. I know this looks quite dark in the pan, but this cream bronzer is so creamy and blendable. It just melts. It's like such a beginner friendly contour. When I first used it, I was like, oh, is it going to be like too creamy for me? You know, and it's almost, I don't know. I like something with a bit of like grip. 
Um, but look at this, like it's so easy to use. If you're scared of cream contour, honestly, this is such a lovely like formula. Like look at that, just taps in zero effort. Just making everything look super like sun-kissed. Look at that, how beautiful does that look on the skin? W, smash that. You know, um, like soft glam makeup looks, everything just looks so blended and buffed. Kind of natural at the same time, but obviously everything looks flawless. So we got to sort of get it on there. The perfect soft glam bronzer honestly is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. To match the eye, I'm going to go in with my Mitchell blush in Sweet Cheeks, of course, the Made by Mitchell one. Today though, what I am going to do is just get some onto the palm of my hand. It's such a beautiful pink, honestly. I obviously want this to be a little bit softer, so I'm gonna put a nice amount on my hand here. What I will say, if I had strawberry cream blush, I would use that. <laughs> it's always sold out. I was speaking to Mitchell about it the other day when he um, did my makeup, which by the way, Mitchell did my makeup. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about it and it's always um it's always sold out. So we're gonna like make our own little shade. I'm gonna mix a bit of the concealer, you know, the L'Oreal one that I used, the lighter one that's bisque. I'm basically just gonna like make my own little thing. Mix those around together like this. See how that's getting lighter and we're creating like a bit of a baby pink. It's gonna be a little bit softer on the cheek. Love doing this when I just wanna kind of like lighten things up a little bit. See how cute that is? And then obviously this is a product that's really, really buildable. You can layer it up. Where obviously we put it on our hand first and then we're going in, it's just gonna be a little bit softer anyway. You know, it's not gonna be as intense. So it gives you like build up time. By the way, when I do this, I don't actually use a lot of concealer. The concealer will line up quickly. So I would just add like a little bit at a time. Like look. <gasps> <laughs> the blushes are great anyway. They're like their own, their own like little family of like uh, formula. Don't be afraid to kind of customize things for you as well, like your own little form. Oh my god, I forgot to contour my nose. Who am I? Yeah, do your thing, guys. And the formula of the blushes are great. I find that they're so easy to be able to do this kind of thing with. I'm just gonna go in with a tiny bit more, kind of on the apples of the cheeks here. I am bringing it back, but I'm actually focusing it a bit more at the front today. Whatever's left. Pop it on the nose. Back in with my cream contour brush just to make sure the two are blended together. But look at that for a cheek. Bury me in it. Guys, this is what I love for my cream contour for my nose. The Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. This is in Honey. Two lines down the nose like this. And then on the tip. Whatever's left on the brush now, I'm gonna, you know like the shape of the eyeshadow? I'm gonna pull the nose contour into that just to get that really nice soft blend. My baby marshmallow sponge, whatever's left on that, I'm just gonna clean up the edges of the nose. Not adding any more product, whatever's there, just to clean that up. Powder today, I'm not gonna change too much. I feel like my powders are just like my staples. These powders just make everything look so like blurred. So my Huda Beauty uh, Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. This is in Cherry Blossom Cake, which is the pink one. Tap out any creases before we go in. And then I am gonna use my damp sponge with this product and just really Press it into the skin and you can immediately see, look at that, the blur. <laughs> With a look like this, I feel like everything is sort of blurred out and soft and like almost matte. And then you can bring back the glow with other products. Now I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier, the trusty translucent setting powder. I'm gonna take my big marshmallow sponge to do this. Normally I use like a powder puff, but I don't want the skin to sort of almost look too velvety powdery. Like I just want it to really buff in. And I feel like the sponge, because of the moisture, it helps to almost keep that in. I only set like the center of the face and under here, by the way. Um, I don't set the bronzer or the blush. I let the other products do that. We're just gonna put on like a nice sort of thin layer of powder. There we go, a little bit of definition under the cheeks just to get like that shape to the skin. I won't need that for long though. Same routine, I'm gonna dust that off with a little bit of powder foundation. This is the e.l.f. camo one. This is in medium 330W. I do think it's a tad bit dark, so I'm only gonna use a tiny bit. Knock that bake off, but only pressing, not swiping. A little bit of this powder to set down the nose as well. I will knock this off in a bit. I'm just gonna let that chill for a little bit longer. Bronzer today, I think it's gonna be matte, give me sun. Press, 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 tap, 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 not to disturb anything. Same for up here too. Like, can you see the comparison? It's just a little bit more enhanced. Technically the powder bronzer is setting the cream bronzer, so don't be too tempted to swipe just yet. Make sure you sort of get like a layer of powder down first before you do any of this. <laughs> a little bit on the nose. 
the powder blush. I'm actually gonna keep it simple and I'm gonna just do another little layer of the blush technique that I did earlier. I was gonna go in with a separate powder, but you know what? I love the color of that so much. I'm just gonna enhance this even more. You can still see it peeping through, but I think we can sort of, you know, make it a little bit more blushed. And the formula of these, because they are like, they're almost like a little bit more, they're like a, like a, I don't wanna use the word paint, that's the wrong thing. It's like a hybrid between like a liquid and almost a paint. Like it's a little bit more like of a matte formula. Like it's not super wet and liquidy where it's gonna break up the powder. What I'm trying to say is you can lay them on top of powder. Absolutely fine. <laughs> Sweet Cheeks blush, a little bit of concealer. Here we go, you'll see what I mean by they won't disturb what's underneath, but can you see it's just made that pop a little bit more? I'm actually just gonna focus this more on the apple of the cheek. And a little bit up here. A lot of the time, anything that I put on the cheek, I put on the nose as well, just to really balance out the center of the face. And is that not the most like perfect cheek? Ever. <laughs> Obviously don't go crazy though. I'm not saying put like a really, really thick layer on or do multiple layers. Just stick to that one thin layer. That's how you get the best results, especially when you are putting liquids on top of powders. Highlighter, only OGs will remember. What the hell? Iconic babes, it's been a long time. I feel like we're all together. <laughs> this is the blush shade though, guys. This is like the more pinky toned color. I was obsessed with the champagne shade. I think we all was. I was going through my collection. I was like, oh my God, I love you. Like, oh my God, I used to like put this literally everywhere because you're joking. One of my favorite things is like reigniting love for products. Like it gives me just so much nostalgia. Onto the hand, guys. How beautiful is that shade with like the slight pinky tone look? Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Damp sponge technique, I feel like it's the best for applying highlighter. I'm literally just gonna hit right at the top here. I'm not gonna bring it any further here. I'm not gonna take it too far back. Just right there where the light catches. She's so beautiful. Quickly dust off this nose bake down the sides. I think by now that's been sat there for long enough. I'm actually not gonna do a bright under eye today because I feel like it looks more sort of put together like this, a bit more almost like blended. Oh, last thing I do wanna do though is take just a touch of my bronzer, grab some and little tapping motions. I'm just gonna en enhance my nose contour just ever so slightly. I typically like to use uh, Benefit Hula for this, but Right now, I don't have it on my desk, so I'm just gonna use my bronzer. And I'm also gonna put a little line here just to lift the nose. There we go, I guess now it's time to do lips. Today's lip liner of choice is my Primark lip liner pencil. This is in Toast. <laughs> this is a brand new one, so bear with me. Oh my God, don't do that on my composites. My dentist is there like screaming at me through the screen. <laughs> Lipstick, well, lip gloss. This is the P. Louise Lip Drip in the shade Strawberry Milkshake. This shade, I can't even do it. Like, look at that. Oh, obviously like a pigmented color gloss. It's like two in one. Like products like this are so good just to pair with a lip liner, like you throw it straight on. I didn't want to go as dark with my like lip liner today. I think I need to take a little something for a little bit more definition. Guys, just off camera quick, I went over with Morphe Sweet Tea lip liner just to deepen it ever so slightly. There you go, that's the gloss option, which is super cute. I actually quite like quite a matte look because the eyes are more matte, I quite like a matte lip. So I'm gonna switch over to a matte lip, but I just wanted to give you a gloss version as well. Bear with me, I'm just gonna take it off. <laughs> Dull Beauty Lip Liner, this is in Boy Bye. In the center, I'm gonna tap in a bit of my Jordana Tisha lip. I was about to say lip gloss, it's actually a liquid lipstick. These are my favorite liquid lipstick formulas because they're so lightweight and they don't dry out my lips, they don't feel heavy, they're really, really lush. Um, and this is in the shade Mmm, which is like four M's. <laughs> just in the center, because it is quite a light shade. And then I literally just use my finger to top it out and blend it into that lip liner. I always like to go back in with my lip liner though, just to really make sure that those edges are, uh, are blurred out. But that's it, that's the lip. I 100% prefer the matte lip, but I know a lot of you love gloss. Not everyone is like me and prefers the matte lip. I think at the moment I'm really enjoying the matte lip because it lasts a little bit longer. Typically when I wear looks like this, I'm going out, I'm eating, I'm drinking stuff like that and I just want it to stay on it. These really do. Should we finish this off guys? We put a little bit of setting spray on. One more layer on the skin of the Milk Hydra Grip. Really lock that in place. Guys, can you see how my skin's wet with that? That's what I like. And then just really let that dry in. Besties, that's it. We're done. Guys, we are done. This is the soft glam look. Soft glam is like a one size fits all. It's just so beautiful. I hope you guys love my version of it. Everything will be linked below, all the products I used. Um, I hope you learned a thing or two. Go get glam, guys. Grab your makeup. Go have fun. <laughs>